Hey guys, and welcome back. So, are you guys ready for part two of the bubble series? Well, today we're gonna make a bubble material that's really easy to make and it looks so freaking good. So, I'm ready. Are you guys ready? Well, let's just see what we're gonna make today. So if you haven't seen the video where we make these bubbles, then please go and watch that first. Then you can learn how to make the geometry, because this is the material side of things. So today we're gonna make this bubbles material. And as you can see, it's fairly simple. It's only five notes and then the two normal notes. So let's just get started. So here in Redshift, I'm just going to make a new standard material. Let's call it Bubbles 2.0. That's nice. All right. So let's bring it over here, these two notes. Let's go into the preset and let's select water. This water preset is really important because we need the dispersion amount to be right. And it's already set up for us here. So that's perfect. So one of the only things we're going to do is set it to Finwald. And you might not believe it, but it still has the dispersion effect on it. So let me just bring up my render view. And let's dock it here. Let me just render it. So let me just turn off my lights here so you can see it a little bit better what is going on so let's actually just start from the beginning let's put our bubbles 2.0 material onto our object right here you can see we have it and let's go and turn on our light so you can see what is happening here all right so there's not that much happening right now in terms of dispersion and, and actually a bubble-like material. It's kind of bubbly, but it's just a thin walled water shader. So let's go up here to the roughness. Let's set it to 0.2. And as you can see, we get some dispersion, but it also makes our bubbles really rough. And that's not what we're looking for because real soap bubbles are transparent and not rough. We are not going to worry about that for right now. We're just going to go into our coding tab. And inside of our coding tab, we can add some extra reflections. So if we turn the weight up, you can see that we have some extra reflections on top of our normal reflections. So this makes it a little bit less rough and much more shiny. For this one, I'm actually not gonna turn on any other settings, just turn up the weight. And now we get into the fun bit. So we're gonna create the mask that's gonna control all of these parameters. So let's start off by pressing Shift C, that will bring up this menu, and we're gonna search for Fresnel. And let's pipe this funnel into our output so we can see what it's doing. So it has a index of refraction mode and it has a value curve mode. So as you can see, the value curve mode is dependent on this curvature falloff number. But I find that the index of refraction is much better to look at. So let's set it to 1.3. And as you can see, we're only selecting the edge now. It's a little bit more gray in the center, but we're going to fix that with a ramp node. So let's search for a ramp. Let's put it here and let's plug the funnel inside of the input. And let's plug it into our source. So here inside our ramp, we're actually just going to use it to clamp all of the colors. So as you can see, it's getting more white now because we're adding more white. And 
while the black the black part of this gradient just gonna set the not position to one percent and that's that just makes the sensor totally black so now we can just control it outside here how much we are gonna need so i think a 25 in the not position of our ramp is pretty nice so these two will move over here so now i want to get this outer edge to be a little bit more like a soap bubble a little bit noisy and to have some variation so i'm gonna search for a max on noise and this max on noise we're just gonna pipe into our source and for this soap bubble i found that sculpt is really nice one because it has these swirls I'm just going to set the size to 3. Let's actually set it to 2. Yeah, 2 is better. So let's just play around with this until I get something good. So what if I want to mix this with this mask? So it's only the white that's going to be nice. Well... Well, it's your lucky day, because we actually have a color mixer. That's what we're gonna need. So, the color mixer has two inputs and a amount. So, the mix amount is actually our mask value. So, it goes from white, which is input one, and it goes to black, which is input two. So, let's put our ramp with our funnel inside of our mix amount and let's put our noise inside of input one and let's put the mix amount inside of our source what happened well nothing actually happened because our input zero is our input two is still at white so we're gonna set it to black and in this case it's actually the wrong way around so i'm just gonna flip it so input 2 is our white and input 1 is our black. And as you can see, it totally worked. So we have a nice mask of our noise. And now we can use this noise and this whole setup for controlling three parameters in our material. So let's first choose reflection color. Then choose Reflection Roughness. And then I'm actually going to do a naughty little thing. Because I'm going to add a bump map and give it some bump to emphasize and to give some more contrast to the colors we're going to put inside of it. So let's put this into a bump map. And let's put the bump map inside of overall bump input. And if we connect this, we should see some soapy, soapy bubbles. So let me just preview it for you guys. And as you can see, it really looks nice. So we have our gradient out here that's controlling all of this noise. And one thing you now can do is that you can turn up this number, this index of refraction on our funnel to get it closer to the middle. So to get a larger area out in the edge. And we can even turn this thing down, the ramp, to maybe 10%. Let's see where it gets us. So yeah, you can see we can really control the edge now. So if we had it here, it's a thin edge. And if we have it here, it's a very thick edge. So I think I'm going to have mine to be right around here. And you might say, but Lucas, they look like lava and stuff. Well, it's actually just my lights that turned in the wrong direction. So what you could do is just turn the lights around 
like okay so i'm just gonna preview this and i'm gonna give you one more tip on how to get it to not look that yellowy so what you can also do is just go inside of here and you can turn off the fin walled film and then you can put another number like 25 in the dispersion then turn on fin film again and as you can see we have a little bit of some other colors here but i think it's actually just our angle on our bubble because as you can see these ones are really nice looking in the blue so let me just turn on a white background and you can see how it looks on a white background so as you guys can see it really looks nice on a white background but i actually have another little trick up my sleeve so if you want to improve the look of the reflections you can actually go into optimization and you can turn off this call dim internal reflections so what this does is it makes the internal reflections visible so this means that you not only get more blue in your reflections but it also means that you get much nicer reflections and if we go into the advanced tab so now it's really getting advanced we can find this shadow opacity under refraction and we can turn it up to one so as you can see it really makes a nice outline on this soap bubble and it makes all the soap bubbles look so much nicer so if you don't want it that harsh you can turn it down to like 50 percent 0.5 and it's not that harsh anymore so that's up to you but i really like mine contrasted so let me just preview it and then you can see how it looks so as you guys can see we have a really nice bubble material here and if you ever do anything with glass or liquids turning off the cold dim internal reflections and turning up the shadow opacity really helps to sell that it's a real life object so that's how to make this really nice looking bubble material so thank you so much for watching it has been a pleasure to do this bubble tutorial with you guys today and now i'm just gonna plug some shit um because that's what you do at the end of a youtube video so like the video if you liked it and you can also subscribe to follow me and if you wanna send me any questions or anything you can do it on my discord server it's down in the description you can also do it on instagram i'm always ready to answer your questions i also have a hdri pack if you guys need a really good lighting pack i guess that's it so i'm just gonna see you guys in another video for some more fun cinema tutorials adios